What's up guys and welcome back to Bolt Action Ballistics. Today we are out here with my 6.5 Grendel. This is a Howl Mini Action. And today we're going to have a little plinking fun. The sun is kind of bright shining in my face, but we have one gallon water jug set out. The first one is set out at 140 yards. And I have two others set out. I didn't range those yet, but I'm thinking it's probably close to 350 yards away, the furthest one. Those are the only three water jugs I had, but... If I would have had one or two more, I would have went out a little bit further yet, but let's have a little planking fun, see what the 6.5 Grendel can do, and see if we can hit these one gallon water jugs. So here we go. Okay, so we are going to be shooting a 123 grain to Hornady Black, the target match load. Let's see if we can hit that first one set out at 140 yards. I haven't shot this gun that much yet, so I'm not sure where this thing's even. We did some 100 yard groups here not too too long ago, but I downloaded an app that I'm going to go off of today. And 140 yards is asking for two clicks on the scope. It's a so yeah, this is a, it's called My Ballistics app. You program everything about your bullet and your gun on the app and it tells you where you're supposed to how many clicks you're supposed to put in the scope so hopefully this app is accurate we're gonna go ahead and aim for the first one at 140 yards and see if we can hit it Okay, we got a hit on the first one at 140 yards. Let's go ahead and get a range on our second one. One eighty five, hundred and eighty five yards. Okay, here we go. 185 yards. And we got a hit. Okay, our third one, our last one. kind of hard to get accurate reading on that one because of the way the hill is back there but I think we are right at 369 yards put that in Asking for 22 clicks at, a, at 369 yards. And that one was a mess. I'm going to double range this. Yeah, say 369. That water jug is kind of sitting down in and the hill goes up behind it. I can't see where I'm hitting. So that was two misses on it. Try this again. Let 
Getting 371. I'm not sure if I'm shooting over it or under it. Huh. Be nice to know if I'm shooting under it or over it. That's the biggest problem here. Let's go back to zero. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. Okay, there we go. Okay, so on this last shot here, I just put the scope back to zero, and I just held where I thought where it should have been, and we laid it over. So, I'm not sure what this app is telling me if I was shooting, I'm pretty sure I was shooting over it. But I do want to do more long range shooting with this gun, find out exactly what it's doing, and see what happens. But I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to film this, these first shots. This is the furthest I've shot with this rifle so far. And I was like, you know what, why not throw up some cameras, have a little fun, do some shooting. And that's the results we got today. We had a few misses trying to get this app to run, but put it back to zero and just held where I thought it should have been, squeezed off and we laid it over. So I'm just gonna have to come out here another day and do some more long range shooting. Might have to get some more water jugs and put them out there and just see where it shoots. Put them out there at 500 yards sometime. Well, that's why I wanted to come out here and test this out. Obviously this app at that range is not quite on. Okay, so I just got back from getting our water jugs and I think our app isn't quite as far off as I thought it was. Let's take a closer look and I'll show you guys why. Okay, so here was our first one. We got a good dead center hit right here. Right where I was aiming. That was our first one. Second one, good dead center hit right there. And actually, right behind the first one, about 50 yards behind the first one, here is our jacket to the bullet. I found that laying out there. That's some pretty crazy stuff. But anyway, for our last one here, we have two hits on it, and I didn't even notice it. So right there was our hit. So I think our app is a little bit high, and not only is it a little bit high, I think our wind was pushing it over this way. So we were probably just shooting just over the top of it on a few of those shots, but one of those shots had to have hit that right there come out there and didn't even move the water jug enough for me to even notice that then when I put my scope back to zero and just held over top of the jug where I thought I should how much droppage the bullet should have we hit right there right there's a hole and there's an exit so we have two exits on this jug that was out at 369 yards so yeah I think we just had just a little bit of a breeze that pushed that bullet that far and our, uh, according to my app, where it took, put me at 22 clicks on the scope, I think we were shooting just over top of this water jug. So zeroed it, and I held over top the water jug and put my shot right there. And that's some wild stuff, guys. Especially finding this out there. That's crazy. Well, guys, that's some crazy stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll see you guys on the next one.